Anna, can you hear me? Anna, yeah, give her a little space, girls. Anna. 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 She's breathing. She's just unconscious. Can you hear Paris, me? Paris, can I get a 911 call, please? We need to get her to a hospital. Help is on the way. They're coming really soon. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. I can help with nice. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. Good. I need to make a deposit, please. Okay. I'd be happy to help you with that. Thank you. I'm gonna need all that in large bills. What's going on with this guy? I don't know. Don't get involved. Yeah, maybe this will speed you up a little. Please, please, do what he says! Please, do what he says! Try hard for this? Yeah. <laughs> give it back. Please. Please. I got your Just give it back. Stop. <laughs> you want it? Oh, you, you can't, can't get it. What are you? you jerks. Ooh. He needs a little girl to save him. Told you guys he was a scaredy cat. I guess you're right. Oh, come on, Anna. Help him. He needs you. Really? Get a life. Come on. We were just messing with him. Relax. <laughs> Now I saved your life. So I finally even? Everyone take your seats, please. All right, all right. Now I know there's just a few days of class left until summer vacation, but we have to stay focused. We have exams today. <clears throat> Anna Miller, please find your seat and stop distracting Mr. Mason. <laughs> all right, y'all, let's get started. Thanks for being a great friend. 
It's not like I've had much of a choice. Drew Locker's been next to mine since when? First grade? Second grade. Whatever. Don't you remember? I didn't even live here in first grade. I still lived in Northville. Who are you? Where is Courtney? Where are you from? What's your name? You don't pick your nose, do you? I guess you're better than Courtney Mabel, the nose picker. But you're just so quiet. Well, you wouldn't shut up. Yeah, no, never mind. No, I think I liked you better when you were quiet. I'm kidding. No, I know, but I'm not. I saved your life that winter, and this is the thanks that I get from you? <laughs> you can't use that for everything. I thought we are even. Nope. Well, maybe you should have just let me drown and freeze to death then. Maybe next time I will. <laughs> so, uh, I'm free after school. Do you want to hang out? <laughs> OK. Let me just drop off my stuff and we'll go to your house. Look at you! <laughs> oh, okay. Seriously? Get out of here! You guys are such losers! <laughs> oh, that hurts! Losers? <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go. I'm sure Josh needs to go find his mommy. <laughs> You have to live on a mountain. <laughs> Just wait like, one second. Mom. Oh, hi, honey. Hi. Um, I'm gonna hang out with Josh. I'll probably just eat dinner at his house. Actually, as soon as your dad gets home, we're going out for a date night, so I need you to watch Emma and Jack and put them to bed, okay? Wait, that's not fair. Why do I have to watch Marty have plans? Honey, I'm sorry that you already have plans, but your dad got a promotion and we haven't been out in a really long time. I won't be late, okay? And you could spend all weekend with Josh. Emma, no! Don't ever play with these. These are not a toy. Keep these matches somewhere she can't get them. She could really get hurt. It's not like she knows how to use them. She probably couldn't light one if she tried. So what? No, 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 he's right. Emma, these could really hurt you. They're not a toy, OK? OK? Hey. Take a celery? Yes. All right, put these in a safe place. Take care of Emma. I love you. I'm gonna go get ready, okay? Okay. I've been saving this bottle for the perfect occasion. Open it up. Sounds good to me. Oh. Hey, look at what I just did there. <laughs> Remember the last time when I ended up wearing most of the wine? <laughs> oh, yeah? Is that how you remember? Yes, because that's exactly what happened. I think it's your turn this time. Hold that thought. I will be right back. Yeah. 
Yes, I, I would appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I'll hold. I'm going to Josh's. I'll be back later. Oh, you want some breakfast? I'm not hungry. What do you want to do? You want to go hang out at the pond? Sure. This still creeps me out sometimes. I'm sorry about last night. I know you wanted to hang out. My parents are so unfair. I shouldn't have to babysit when I already have plans. You should be grateful that you have a brother and sister to babysit. You're an only child, so you don't know what it's like. Well, I'll take them over being alone any day. I guess. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe it'll help cheer you up. What? Okay, we need to find something sharp. Let's do. Where did you get that? Just have it, in case I might need it. For what, murdering someone? Maybe. <laughs> if someone ever hurt you. I don't know if I should take that as a compliment, or... It means that I'll never let anything happen to you. How many times have I saved your life? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I owe you big time because you saved my life. You just like the fact that I owe you something, don't you? You know I'm gonna make it up to you. Well, you should be more careful. You can't make it up to me if you're dead. I could be your guardian angel. No, I could watch over you and keep you safe. No, no way. Yeah. You have to think of a way to make it up to me that doesn't involve you dying. Anyways, do you think your knife can carve into these rocks? Maybe. What are we carving? Maybe our initials? What for? Just to have something to keep and remember our friendship by. You know, I keep yours, you keep mine. Is that stupid? No, no, it could be cool. Here, give me one. What are your initials? You don't know. Wait, Anna Renee Miller. A-R-M. Arm. What's yours? You mean you don't know? Hmm. I know it's J. Fail. Oh, you didn't even let me finish. Okay, a real best friend wouldn't have to think that long. Shut up. It's Joshua Edward Mason. Gem. Because I'm a real gem. <laughs> That's not even how you spell gem. Well, it's still better than arm. We both have a last name that starts with M, so we could use M, and we mm. could use the J for Josh, and an A for Anna. J A M. Jam. Yeah. No, that's actually pretty cool. See, I told you this would make you feel better. Thanks. I do feel better. Good. Then get Carter. Which one do you want? Um, this one, I want that one. <laughs> hey. A 53-year-old woman now identified as Sharon West was shot and killed in a robbery at this location earlier today. Police have one suspect in custody. That suspect- Anna. 
do anything! What's wrong, honey? Police are confirming one thing. One victim is dead as a result of this robbery. That poor woman. She was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It happened a few hours ago. The woman in your dream? She doesn't look like the woman on TV. I'm not mistaken. Please don't look at me like I'm crazy. I'm, I I'm telling you everything that I saw on the news, the, the people, the bank. It's exactly like what was in my dream. It's like they took it out of my head or I dreamt it before it happened. Honey, don't say that. It's not possible, okay? <laughs> Look, why don't you take a shower, go downstairs, have some food, and I know you're gonna feel better. I promise. I can't just forget about this like it didn't happen. I know that's what you want me to do because you can't think of an answer. I'm not crazy. Go away. You're obviously not gonna believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, honey. It's just... I think that... what you dreamt... is just... it's just similar. It, it, and it's just playing tricks on your mind, that's all. Look, there's nothing we can do. Bank robberies happen, and people get killed. But your dream, honey, your dream was really just a dream. No, this one's different. Sharon West. No, no she was the woman in my dream. She was the exact same woman. And she's real, Mom. And now she's really dead. Just go away if you're not gonna believe me. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you alone. I had a feeling I'd find you up here. Go home and get yourself some rest. It says here they're giving us an additional 90 days. They're essentially forced to cut all research funding. What? Continue all facility operations as normal, and not a word of this to anyone. Of course. We'll just take whatever we can get for now. Sorry to interrupt. There's a new patient inquiry, and I think you need to take a look at it. Sure. I gotta find myself a new spot to think. Are you sure doing the right thing? I mean, really? Maybe we should just wait a little bit longer until she gets better before we take her anywhere. She's had a vivid dream since the incident at Summer Softball. She's had trouble telling what's real, and it's only getting worse. It's almost been six years. And but she's gonna feel like we betrayed her. And what if she doesn't want to go? She doesn't have a choice. She's not stable enough to choose. We have to make the decision that's best for her. Okay. She's very confused. She doesn't realize that she needs help, but. Don't know how to help her there. I mean, we've already tried everything else. Maybe we 
we just keep her there? You know, just until they find a proper diagnosis because I can't. I, I can't stand the thought of leaving her there for long term. I just can't. I can't. It'll be okay. Gosh, get in here, it's pouring out. Yeah, I know. Just hoping to see Anna. Well, she's still not coming out of her room. Well, would it be okay if I go up and talk to her? No, I think it would do her some good to see you. You can give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? She throws you out her window? People are worried about you, Anna. I'm worried about you. I just want my best friend back. Do you even believe me? Or are you just like everyone else? I'm not crazy. No, I know. Of course I believe you. I think they want to send me to some kind of mental hospital. Maybe they can help you get better. I don't need to get better because I'm not sick. Did they tell you to say that? No, no. That's not what I meant. I'm sorry. What I meant is they can help you deal with what happened so that you feel better. I don't know what to do. I feel so alone. I'm afraid to go to sleep. And one horrible thing can change your life forever. Even ruin your life if you let it. You know, you can't change the past. I'd give anything to go back. I wanna play too. Now don't come out no matter what. Until someone finds you, stay here and be very quiet. Okay, I will. knew where she was. She died because of me. That's so awful. I'm so sorry. How come you never told me? I never even knew you had a sister. I don't like to talk about it. I tried so hard to forget. That was the summer after first grade. We were gonna rebuild, but my mom couldn't stand living in the house after Maggie died. That's why I moved here. It's only 15 minutes away, but it got us out of Northville. Wait, did you live across the street from Willow Park? Josh, I was there. I was at the park when it happened. My babysitter used to live in Northville. She used to take me to Willow Park. I was swinging. Everything was fine. Then. I'm sorry. We don't have to talk about it. I just can't believe I never knew that was your house. I always wondered what happened after we left that day. They told me the firemen got everyone out. I guess they didn't want me to know about your sister. Oh, I miss her so much. And that'll never go away. But I went to therapy, and it helped me a lot. 
promise me you'll let them help you. And you won't be alone. I'll come visit you. Yeah, maybe you're right. If you think it'll help, I'll go. Mrs. Miller, hi. I'm Dr. Jenkins. It's nice to finally meet you in person. Anna, hopefully you'll like it here. We've got a lot of fun things to do. Uh, in fact, in about 15 minutes, we have a dive ball tournament in the gym. If that sounds like something that might be fun for you, you can meet some of the other patients and... Yeah? Great. Please, follow me. We could always use some fresh fruit on the team. Are you any good at dodgeball? We're just practicing right now. But I'm telling you, it's gonna be the game of the century. Go, fight, win. That's Peanut Noodle. There are cheerleaders. I give all the girls food nicknames. You look like you'd make a good muffin. Muffin? You can make a good cheerleader muffin, but for now, we need you on our team. Oh, that's Marshmallow. She's very sensitive. Just be careful what you say. Hey, Marshmallow, your shirt's on backwards. <laughs> Heads up! Okay, Anna, so in order for us to get accurate readings, you just have to try and relax as much as possible, okay? So now we're gonna put you into an induced sleep so we can compare the results with your daytime brain activity. Hopefully we can determine what's going on during these dreams of yours. Don't be afraid, this won't hurt at all. You won't feel anything. In a few minutes, you are gonna to start to feel very, very sleepy. How you doing? Be right there. Hey, how's your wife? Did they find the match yet? No, no, no <sighs> match yet. The two we thought might work out uh, came back negative, but she's hanging in there. She's doing all right. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, go and take care of her and enjoy your night off, okay? Thank you. May I cut in? Come on, Jai. We've talked about this before. Boundaries. <laughs> How are you doing? I wish you would get me out of here. Maybe if you try to make some friends, you'll start liking it in here. All the people here are crazy. 
and I don't think I need more crazy friends. Well, maybe you can try to find the least crazy of the crazy. I just hope I can go home soon. Do you see that guy? The janitor? Yeah. Wait, every time I see him, I feel like he's watching me. But I can't help but to stare back. It's weird. I get this vibe from him, like I know him from somewhere, but I've never even talked to him before. Can I have your pickle? You can have it. I came all the way out here. The least you can do is give me your pickle. <laughs> You need to leave. You're in the way. Okay. Welcome to group therapy, everyone. This is Anna's first time here, so uh, let's make her feel welcome. Anna, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Or right, maybe you would help Anna if someone else decided to go first. Anyone. <laughs> Cassie. My name is Cassie, I'm 16. I love frogs, grass, limes, and green beans. I basically love everything that's green. One time, I vowed to only eat green stuff for a whole year. Nobody thought I could do it though. That's great, Cassie, thank you so very much. See, we can share anything we want to in this room, anything at all. I'm 14. I've been having these dreams ever since I was eight, and now they're starting to come true. See, Anna's having trouble telling her dreams from reality. So does anybody have any ideas or any suggestions that might be able to help Anna? I wish my dreams would come true. OK, m maybe we should try to play a game that, that allows everybody to sort of have some input. Wait, could you dream something for me? OK, you know what? Let's talk about dreams. Let's talk about dreams, because dreams can be very, very powerful. Does anybody know what causes us to dream? I wish I wasn't afraid to sleep. I'm so tired. Hey, it's okay. Take a nap. I'll be right here. And if you look like you're having a bad dream, I'll wake you up. Really? You promise? Yeah. Get some sleep. He's my little friend Tico here. He's very curious. I like to know everyone's business. Do you mind if we come in? I'm Lenny. We've been wanting to meet you ever since you came here, but we're kind of shy. Tico likes to spy on all the new patients, but don't think we're crazy. Isn't everyone crazy here? I mean, it is a mental ward, isn't it? 
Well, it depends on your definition of crazy. I mean, I think we're pretty cool if you get to know us. Have you met Jive? He's the coolest dancer you'll ever see. He doesn't stop. He even dances in his sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah. That kid. No, I've seen him around a few times. How long has he been dancing? Ever since he came out of his mother's womb. So you look pretty normal. Why are you here? It's kind of a long story. I'd rather not talk about it. Well, I bet you're not crazy. You're too pretty to be crazy. So does he talk? Oh, yeah, you just have to give him a little time to open up. He's super shy until he gets to know you. He doesn't just trust anyone, you know. But once he does open up, it's hard to get him to shut up and he'll be your friend forever. And then he'll expect you to go on spy missions with him whenever a new patient comes. It's kind of entertaining. There's nothing really else to do around here, you know? What? It might look weird that I hang out with a little kid, but Tico, he's like my little brother. Kind of grows on you like a fungus. Once he clings on, he's hard to get rid of. Wow. Looks like he likes you already. Okay, boys, Anna and I have a session right now, so if you'll excuse us. Thank you, Lenny. Thank you very much, Tico. Down you go, buddy. Off you go. So when can I go home? Because I don't want to be here, and I don't belong here anyway. Well, Anna, in my professional opinion, you absolutely do belong here. And how long you remain here is totally up to you. Anna, the, the human mind is so complex and so difficult to understand. And we're learning new things all the time. OK, but your mind can play tricks on you. And it can make us believe things that aren't true. I know what's true and what's not true. My dreams aren't make-believe. I'm not stupid and I'm not crazy. Anna, no, nobody thinks you're crazy or that you're stupid. All right, now, we've sent the results of your scan to a doctor who specializes in this sort of thing, OK? He is very interested in what's going on in your sleep. But he wants us to run more tests uh, when your sleep is not induced. He wants your sleep to be natural. Now, we'd like to start those tests right away, but you need to get on a better sleeping pattern. Um, is this a bad time? Should I come back later? No. No, I'm glad you're here. Please stay. All right, go ahead and, and visit. We can finish our session later. I'm really happy you're here. What have the doctors been saying? Have you gotten any better by now? They keep saying my mind's tricking me into thinking things that aren't true. They don't believe me. They think I'm crazy. Maybe you should just agree with them. I mean, they'll never let you out of here if you keep. Keep what? What am I doing wrong? I thought you believed me. I do, I do believe you. It's just, all I'm saying is, if you see it from their view, they'll let you come home. But no matter what, I'll visit you, no matter how long they keep you. So anyway, uh, I saw that guy that calls you Muffin. I think he likes you. He was asking me about you. I think he's not really your type. He seems kind of... Crazy? Yeah. I guess he is your type. Oh, shut up. You always have to be funny, don't you? You know you love it, Muffin. <laughs>
sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm Anna. It's a good nickname. That's my name. It's not a nickname. Anushka. <laughs> Anushka? What is that? Do you know why you're following me? What? Um, I, I've just, I've seen you around and I feel like I know you from somewhere and I, I, I... You don't have to explain your intuitions. I'm Dakota. You have a lot to figure out. What do you mean? I feel like you know something. You've been having visions. Visions? <laughs> no, what did they tell you? Happened to see them when they were scanning you. Your dreams aren't ordinary dreams, Anna. It's something I haven't seen in a long time. I've been having these dreams since I was little, and now they're starting to come true. I dreamed this lady died, and then she did. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. How do I make it stop? This is something you shouldn't be asking yourself. You have a gift, Anna. It's not a gift, it's ruining my life. I'm afraid to go to sleep. What if someone else dies because of something that I dream? My dreams are the whole problem. Like I said, you have a lot to figure out. I don't know what to do. It's like I'm afraid of myself. You're not afraid of yourself, you're afraid of the unknown. You're afraid of what you think you can't control, what you think you can't change. Stop running from yourself. You can't outrun your destiny. It's so hard when no one believes me. Why do you need someone to believe you? Your destiny does not require approval from anyone. Believe in yourself, Anna, and you will do great things. Do you know what this is? Looks like a butterfly net or something. It's a dream catcher. I've had this a very long time. I take it everywhere I go. What's it for? Some people think it's, it captures your bad dreams so that you only have good ones. That could be the answer to my problems. Actually, it doesn't prevent bad dreams. The truth is, for people like you, it only captures what your true dreams are made of. Then you know your dreams are safe. What do you mean safe? You fear your dreams because you don't understand them. You doubt your abilities. If you catch the dreams that are your inner truth, you can use them to set you free. You must overcome your fear and find strength in your destiny. Are you finding everything okay? Yeah, as it's just... Dakota, can you come help me with something? Honey, you're exhausted. I should get going so, um, you know, you can get some rest, some sleep. I doubt it. It's hard to relax here. You get to go home to your nice comfy bed and I'm stuck here alone. No, don't say that. You're not. You're not alone. You never will be. I want you to know how much we love you. We're all in this together. This is for your own good. I'm too tired to talk about it. <laughs> I'm too tired too. I can't sleep. The thought of you being here is killing me. It's hard on all of us. Get some sleep, okay, honey? I love you. I'll be back in a couple days. Oh, Mrs. Miller. Oh, um, I was just leaving. Could I talk to you for a minute? Uh, yeah, of course. Anna's normally a nice girl, but she's been acting very cranky lately, and I was just wondering if maybe it was her medication. Well, sometimes patients do have adverse emotional reactions to medications, but I think the biggest problem she has is lack of sleep. I'm sure if she could just get a really nice, good, decent sleep, she'll be, she'll be much better off. Okay, 
I'm sure that's what it is. Thank you, doctor. Hey, Anna. Do you need something to help you sleep? I don't want your drugs. You think drugs are the solution to everything. Anna, you're showing some obvious signs of sleep deprivation, okay, which can make you aggressive and irritable. I could sleep if I could go home. I want to be in my own bed. And I completely understand that. Look, we've tried our very best to make you as comfortable as you can be here, but yeah, it's, it's not your home, it's not your bed. You started out making really good progress. Has something happened? Is, is there something you want to talk about? No. I'm tired of being here for no reason. Have you seen the other patients? Because some of them are pretty darn wacko. You honestly think I'm like them? Anna, I'm not the enemy here, okay? We're trying to help you as best we can, I promise. Why do you feel like you don't want to cooperate with your treatment? Because I don't need treatment. Your job is to find something wrong with me, but your solution is to convince me that it never happened? Anna, before you can even start to get better, you need to come to grips with the truth. No, you need to get a grip. I know the truth. You don't believe me, so you're holding me here like a criminal, but I had a dream. Is that a crime? It's not my fault I came true. Anna, you're a very, very smart girl. There's no doubt about that. But you've been under a lot of stress and certainly a lack of sleep. And it doesn't help. Like, I'll be back to check on you tomorrow, but please try and get some sleep. I promise you'll feel a whole lot better. Who was in a car accident? She was driving. She had two little kids in the back and they died. I don't want to go. I heard the nurses talking earlier. The incident happened last Friday. That was on my birthday. Anyways, I heard them say she blames herself because she forgot something and had to go back. And now they're dead. Stop it. You guys are creeping me out. My room is just down the hall from yours. Come on, let's just go take a little peek. the only one tall enough to see through that window. I want to see you pick me up. Shh. You can't see anything anyways. She's not looking this way. What is she doing? She's just sitting there. What new patient? No, the new patient. They, they got here yesterday, a woman. She was in this room. Look, honey, this room, it's been empty, okay? We haven't had any new patients for weeks. Let's go find your nurse. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Let's get your meds. You'll be okay, all right? 
Are you okay? I think you just had another bad dream, okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just had a horrible nightmare. Okay. Do you want me to call the doctor so you can talk no, about it? No, okay. it's okay. I'm Let's fine. go back to your room. When's the last time you talked to your mom? She was visiting last night, so I know it hasn't happened yet. Well, have you talked to anyone else about it? No. You gotta believe me. I know nobody else will. Why don't we just call your mom and tell her about your dream? No. And... I know she won't believe me. She thinks I'm crazy. But you're stuck in here, and you won't tell anyone else but me. And there's no way of knowing if or when it's even gonna happen. Wait. In my dream, Tico said the accident happened on his birthday. Hello? Can I talk to Tico, please? It's Anna. Anna, are you coming to my birthday party? When's your birthday? Well, it isn't till tomorrow. But well, my family's here today, so we are having a little party. What did he say? Tomorrow. You have to help me get out of here. We have to do something. I'll be right back. I have to go lock up my bike. <sighs> hey, it's Josh. There's something I need to tell you. But what if it is going to happen? Like your last dream? Josh, Anna doesn't know what's real or not. She's very confused. She's not going to get better if you can. Who are you talking to? Did you just call my mom? How could you do that to me? I told you she doesn't believe me. Like, now she's going to tell my doctor, and I'm never going to get out of here. And I'm sorry. I thought she would believe us, and then we could stop her I from. I thought I could trust you. What did you tell her? I told her that you had a dream. And Jack and Emma died in a car accident. And your mom was driving, and that girl ran in front of the car. But that's all that I got out. You're right, I'm sorry. She thinks you're confused and you don't know what's real. If someone could have stopped me from lighting that match, to save my little sister. As your best friend, I was just trying to help. I know. Yeah, I know. Thank you. We have to figure out a way to get out of here. Tomorrow my sister and brother are gonna die if you don't help me. I think I know something that could work. But you have to trust me. I'll think it all out tonight and I'll be back in the morning to get you. I'll try to get some sleep tonight, okay? Killer. What killer? Uh, the guy going around wearing that scary mask and killing people. <laughs> you believe anything, don't you? It's not even true. No, it is real. And the last I heard, the latest killing was, it was just the other day and it was 10 miles from here. <laughs> you are so gullible. I don't believe that crap. It's fake news. It's true. I hear places go after skinny blondes who wear pink lip gloss and who stink at pool. <laughs> Okay, just, can you just shut up? You're like creeping me out. Like, how am I supposed to sleep tonight? <laughs> hey, leave her alone. Right, now I have to go to the bathroom and, and I'm too afraid to go pee by myself. Hey, watch out. He's probably in the shower right now with this scary mask on just waiting to jump out. Shut up. I'm not kidding. <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs>
Asikoko 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 Sleep well, Anna. Mental Health Unit 3? No, I'm the only one here till noon. No, I'll take care of it. I'll be right there. Come on, we don't have much time. What did you do? What took you so long? I'll tell you later, we gotta go. Crap, we need a code. Where are you going? Shh. Tico. I need to leave. Don't tell anybody you saw me. Are you coming back? You can't leave on my birthday. Where are you even going to say goodbye? Look, we need to help someone or something really bad is going to happen. So don't tell anybody that we left. Let's go. Can I come with you? I want to help. No. You have to stay here and make sure no one knows we left. And that's how you can help. Security, I have a Cody. I have a female patient with a male accomplice. They were last seen heading down South Wing Hall. Which way? I don't know. We lost them. Yeah, but how do we get out of here? <laughs> Dakota! Where are you going in such a hurry? Get up. We gotta go. <laughs> There's no time to explain. We, we gotta get out of here. I had another dream and I, I have to do something. Can you help us? Come on. Let's go. Anushka. It means one who fulfills their destiny. For your journey, please take this with you. Embrace your dreams and set them free, and you too will be free. We have to go now. Thank you so much. Did we lose them? Yeah. Call the police and make a report. Tell them these kids are considered dangerous. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm not risking anything. That was your plan? What was that? They almost caught us. Well, I didn't have a lot of time to plan the escape. That reminds me. Just wait right here. Here, put this on. <laughs> you brought me in disguise. I couldn't have you running around town looking all crazy and expect not to get caught. That janitor, why did he help us? I'll tell you later. We have to hurry. Here, take this. My mom has them. She's paranoid someone might grab her. You might need it. I don't think I can. Here, please, just put it in your pocket. Don't be afraid to use it. Take it. look exhausted. 
Yeah, I didn't get much sleep last night with what's been going on. I kept having these bad dreams about a guy in a mask. Oh no. Please tell me we don't have to figure out what that means. Who knows? But we have too much to worry about. I think I might actually start losing my mind for real. Too late. <laughs> I'm kidding. What the heck is that? That's part of my plan. Let's go. Where are we going? I don't even know where we are. Central and Concord. Central and Concord, please. Um, about how far is that exactly? Less than 10 miles. We're in a huge hurry. It's kind of a life or death matter. Stop the funny. How much time do you think we have? Um, I don't know. My mom usually gets the kids from the babysitter's house around three o'clock. Then she'll be heading. Hey, hey, it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna have enough time. It's gonna be okay, all right? Absolutely not, honey. No, because that's dangerous. I, I, make sure that I'm there when you try to do Doctor, doctor, we have a problem. I have come, to go. Come quick, please. Okay, okay, please. Calm, calm down, calm down. Can we go any faster? No, sorry. Bad traffic. How much further down is Concord? We're almost there. No, I see it. Let's just get out here. It'll be faster to walk the last few blocks. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, Sorry. wait. Sorry. You can't get out like I'm that. Sorry. Wait. Sorry. Dear Dr. Jenkins, I know you don't believe my dreams are real, but yours come true. You receive your funding, and if that's just not enough, your wife gets her kidney. I'm still learning to believe, and now it's your turn. Anna. You know, doctor, we can never really hold that girl down. I just have a feeling that she's gonna be where she needs to be. How can there be a road in the street with the same name? No, I don't know. But this definitely isn't it. Well, what the heck are we supposed to do now? I said the first quarter was extremely positive. Second quarter, not so far behind. I think that's why it's so vital that we, that we really go after the economy in this current climate the way it is. That's Cindy. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy Miller. Hey. Look, I understand that you're dealing with some pretty severe family issues right now with your daughter. And yeah, I'm sorry. I, I won't let my family life affect my work. It's okay. Anyways, so again, back to where we were. Third and fourth quarter, still up for grabs. Can you help us? What's the problem? You kids look lost. We're not from around here. Do you know where Concord Street is? How far is the street from here? Oh, if you just go down Central Ave right here, I'd just go straight under the overpass, and it's maybe a half a mile or so. You'll see it. All right, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Hey, can I ask you guys a couple questions? And a run, let's go. Hey!
trying to get the kids ready because you said you were in a rush. Yeah, Jack has a doctor's appointment. Mommy! <laughs> oh. I miss you so much all day, Mom. Oh, I missed you too. Oh. Okay. Say goodbye to Chrissy. Bye, Chris. Chris. See you awesome. later. Okay, <laughs> let's go. You say life's too hard, the burden's too heavy. Hey, she's the road taking is your too bike. long, you can't bear your story. What are you doing? Don't worry, we'll You're get afraid it back. to dream, afraid to fail. You'd rather go nowhere than face the same. You don't know me, you won't let go. Open up your eyes and say hello. Be the powerful you. Only you decide which way you will choose And nobody knows how much you can do It's time to show there is no limit to The powerful you She blames herself because she forgot something that had to go bad. Mm. Mm. Oh, hey. Oh, Chrissy. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay. No, I just have so much on my mind. I'm, I'm going to turn around. Okay. Catch her and teach her a lesson for you. Uh, come on, let's go. Hey, you! It's not nice to take people's stuff! Oh, great, not them. Hey, that's Anna! Oh, she thinks she can cause trouble in our neighborhood? Oh, no, no. Where's your little friend Josh now? I mean, he's not here to save you. Oh. Come on, guys! Really bad car accident's about to happen. Yeah, right. We heard you went all crazy. Guess the rumors are true. You guys, stop! You can't make us! No, stop! Whoa! Stop. Well, that was smooth. Get up, she's getting away. Thank you, Chrissy. You're so much. welcome. See you Monday. Come on, you sissy. You're not even hurt. She went this way.
Emma? There, take this back. Can you grab his bottle? It's in one of the pockets there. Thanks. Here it is, Mommy. Oh, thank you. Good job. that if I was gonna go on this trip with him, he was gonna have to shoot. I can't find my keys. And I don't think Laura, so I'm just, I'm gonna have to call you back, okay? Mommy, can you put it on number eight? That's my most favorite. out of nowhere, Julie, he just saved your life. No, you guys, you guys almost got me killed. I'm so sorry, we oh were just being stupid. Gosh. We didn't think that this would happen, Julie. I know, I, I, I thought you'd see it was just me and not freak out so bad. Wow, Anna was right. How? I'm so sorry. You tried to tell me. I didn't know. I didn't know. Mom, it, it's okay. It doesn't matter now. Everyone's safe. That's all that matters now. Dizzy! <laughs> uh, Anna, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's really not that bad. Are you okay? Sure. What are you doing with that? We bought it last night to scare Julie with it. It was just for a joke. I don't know how I can ever repay you for what you did for me today. You don't have to think of a way to repay me. Losing my sister was the worst thing that ever happened to me. I knew I couldn't let you go through that. I've always dreamed of having a friend like you. I just wish that I could promise to make all your dreams come true. <laughs> Wait. Maybe I should promise to never let any of your dreams come true. <laughs> wow. Is there something wrong with you? There will be if anything ever happens to you. I care about you, Anna. I promise no matter what happens, I'll always be here for you. But for now, you have to go back. Promise me, you'll come back to me. Okay? Why does her heart rate keep going up? It was calm just a minute ago. She just suffered some trauma to the head. And the heart rate, it could just be as she's dreaming. That means her brain is still active. It's good. Anna, can you hear me? Why do I have to go back? What? What are you talking about? Ma'am, just give her a moment. Give her a moment to figure things out. Where's Josh? 
What? Josh. Who's Josh? Josh Mason, my best friend. Where is he? Who took him? Please. Hey, you really are a brave little girl. I mean, you took a big hit. You got a big bump there to prove it. So do you remember anything? Anything at all that might have happened? Anna, do you know who I am? You're my mom. Yeah, that's right. Come on. All right, let's go. Come on. Strike three. Batter's out. I don't know why I just can't play. Maybe we wouldn't be losing so bad. I feel fine, Mom. Oh, honey, I know that you want to play. I do. But the doctor says you need to take it easy for just a little bit longer. And you can be here for your team cheering them on. <sighs> That's not fun. I want to play ball. Mm -hmm. Hey, Becky's up. Come on, let's cheer for it. Becky! Becky! Come on, bring it in. We'll get them next time. Oh, also, Allison's going to take you to the park for a picnic tomorrow, OK? So you have that to look forward to. OK. OK. You ready to have some fun? Do you want to eat first, or do you want to play for a few minutes? I'm a little hungry, but can I just swing first? Sure, go ahead for a few minutes. play too. Now don't come out no matter what. Until someone finds you, stay here and be very quiet. Okay, I won't. Shh. Wow, Anna, you're getting really high this time. Watch, Allie, I'm gonna swing higher than those houses. I'd give anything to go back. Find strength in your destiny. Believe in yourself, Anna, and you will do great things. What if we get in trouble? We won't, because no one will find out. Let's just go find Maggie. Just wait. I really have to go to the bathroom. I'll go with you. No, I can go by myself. It's just over there. I'll be quick. I'll get the sandwiches ready, but hurry back. Come with me, we have to hurry. Don't be afraid, we're going to get out of here. Come on, we have to run as fast as we can down the hall and through the fire. I don't want to. Maggie, we have to. Just close your eyes and we'll run together. Josh, where is your sister? Oh, God. Maggie, she's still in there. 
I'll go get her. Get the boys out of here. Maggie! Ma'am, is there anybody left in the house? No. Everyone got out safe. Thank God. No, Mommy. There's still a girl inside. What girl, honey? The girl who saved me from the fire. Josh, did you boys see another girl in the house? Maggie says a girl saved her from the fire. No, Mom. There was no girl. She's making it up. Anna! Anna! Come on, we need to go. We don't want to get trapped here. What's wrong? are you doing? I can't find my ice skates anywhere. Well, once you find them, make sure you clean all this up, put everything away. Your mother would have a fit if she saw this. Okay. Your dreams aren't ordinary dreams, Anna. You should be more careful. How many times have I saved your life? No, 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 no. I'm scared. Anna, don't move. No! No! Ah! I could be your guardian angel. How he could be okay. He seems fine, honey. If it makes you feel any better, we'll have him checked out. But he's a tough kid. I saw who saved you. She was your angel. She was the girl who saved me from the fire. She wanted you to have this. You have to think of a way to make it up to me that doesn't involve you dying. I promise I'll come back to you.